Good afternoon, I'm Kelly Jones. Let's get straight to your top stories this half hour. An eight year old is missing. She's missing right now. Here's her picture, her family, the community. We need your help. Eight year old Hawaii Robinson was last seen Tuesday night. Take a look at your screen. Last seen Tuesday night about five o'clock. Her mom says she was headed to meet her father. More than 12 hours later, the question the family has is why wasn't there an Amber Alert issued immediately? Local 15's Jasmine Williams uh, tells us uh, where this investigation stands right now. And Jasmine, we're waiting for the chief of police to address the media. Yeah, we are, Kelly, but family and friends are not happy with police at all. Hawaii went missing at 10 p.m. last night and wasn't reported to the media until nearly 12 hours later, and an Amber Alert was never issued. Family and friends are now taking the search into their own hands, but want to know why officials waited so late. Now, Pritchard Police Chief Mike Rowland tells me that an Amber Alert was not issued because she did not qualify for an Amber Alert. They say that she wandered off from her family's apartment on St. Stephen's Road voluntarily at 5 p.m. and the media was not alerted immediately. We were given seven re reasons why, including that they were gathering more information and now the search is on with a team from class kids out of Pensacola, the Mobile County deputies and friends and family. Within the hour, we are also expecting to hear from Pritchard's police chief during a news conference, which we said it within the 1230 hour. Melanie Baldwin with Pritchard Police have been out here several times addressing the community, saying that, you know, this is not a crime scene. A dead body has not been found, and they are doing their best to answer any questions. But honestly, Kelly, for the family, a lot of this just doesn't seem like enough. Reporting live from Pritchard, Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News. Thank you, Jasmine. I've mentioned it is every parent's worst nightmare, of course. When the police chief uh, steps to the microphone, we will stop news here and check in with Jasmine and bring you that uh, very latest information when it comes to uh, looking for this eight-year-old.